Hello, hello, and good morning. This is Jenny Vaz coming to you live from Sydney. The weather's warming up. It's a glorious and awesome spring season that's upon us. Although I think spring showed up yesterday and she went off and sent summer in her place instead. It was beautiful this weekend. We had a long weekend in Sydney and it was just splendid to be out in the sun and meeting people. I hope you got off to do some wonderful things with this weekend. And no matter what's been going on with the lockdown situation, I hope you have, you found a way to experience love, joy, comfort, safety in your life. Now I'm going to jump on today and really talk about an interesting experience or event that occurred recently. I came across a gentleman and for all purposes and intentions, I will not reveal names, came across a gentleman who said, I am a perfect planner. I said, oh, what do you mean by you're a perfect planner? Well, I like to have everything worked out before I take a step, before I make my move, so I know exactly what I am doing. And, and we had this discussion to and for. It was a beautiful discussion. It was engaging and and I wanted to know how it served him being the perfect planner. And I got really curious about how it was working for him. And as we talked about it, I realized that, oh, yes, he does a lot of research and analysis to come up with the perfect plan. He spends an extensive amount of time creating that perfect plan. And when he executes the perfect plan, he gets the results that he needs. And sometimes he finds that, oh, I may have missed out on a few things or I did not realize that these things mattered. And sometimes I get stuck because I can't move forward in my perfect plan. And that was interesting. It got me thinking, how many of us experience that? How many of us get stuck with our perfect plans? And so I asked him another question. I said, what happens when you get stuck? What do you do? He says, he said, I either give up or I stay in limbo until I can find a solution, find a way out. And that got me thinking about some of us who operate in that manner, waiting for our ducks to line up, waiting for, for making, for that guarantee that we've got this, that nothing's going to happen, what we planned for is going to work, and that's it. And this comes to mind to leadership styles. What does it mean to be a leader who is determined to go in a particular direction and not ready to look at alternatives, not ready to consider that there might be a different way we get so caught up in having that certainty and that guarantee at the beginning. How does that serve us? How does that help us to fulfill our objectives, our purpose as leaders, as next generation leaders? Now, as next generation leaders, the qualities we're looking to embrace, the characteristics of that, the tenacity, the grit, right? The decisions, the ability to, to change, to create impact in the world that we're in. Having the perfect plan, does that help us if our plan does not meet current, the way things are going? How do we change? And I know from personal experience, having the perfect plan sometimes is what trips us up. Do you, would you fall into any of these categories in the way you operate? Try this on for size. The first category is you spend a lot of time figuring out the perfect plan that that exercise in itself is so exhaustive, so overwhelming and feels impossible to a point that you give up. It's like, I can't do this. I can't come up with the perfect plan. Or are you in the second category where you do come up with a perfect plan and you start taking the actions and it goes according to plan for a bit and suddenly everything kind of falls apart because there's you know it's it's not sustainable the perfect plan is not sustainable the chunks the steps in the perfect plan are too many or there's too much in one step to do 
or there's too many ambiguities. It wasn't really the perfect plan and we weren't and you weren't prepared for it. You weren't you hadn't realized and then you gave up in that moment as well. Or in the third category where you're not sure if you're any closer, you've been working your perfect plan for so long and you're not sure if you're any closer to your goal or is it time to give up? Is it time to give up? And that doubt, that increasing doubt starts kicking in and it feels so overwhelming that it pushes you to that point of wanting to give up. As you're listening to this, if it's any comfort to you, I've been in all of those three positions in my life, in all of these three categories. I've been in a place where coming up with the perfect plan, and I know why I had to come up with the perfect plan. It was to make myself feel safe. Like I had to have all my ducks in a row because if I don't have my ducks in a row, it means I'm a failure. For some reason, I had the belief that I'm a failure if I can't come up with a perfect plan. And everywhere, every, anyone I was listening to said, have a plan and take action from the plan. And I thought, okay, having a plan meant success. But coming up with the plan itself was so cumbersome. It was overwhelming. There were so many ambiguities. There were so many unknowns. And I wasn't even willing, willing to look at people who had results, who had some semblance of a result, because I figured that I had to do it on my own. I couldn't ask for help. And that was an impossible task in itself. In the second stage where I'm executing the perfect plan and for a while things are going right and suddenly, bam, I've had that experience where I, the rug got pulled from under my feet. Because A, I didn't have the skills to take on the next step or I didn't have the knowledge, I didn't have the relationships, or I even didn't have the resources within me. Neither was I willing to ask for help to get the plan going. Again, it was all about me having to do everything on my own. And even in the smallest of times where I did ask for help, wasn't ready to take on that advice. I was like, oh, you wouldn't know, you don't understand my situation. My situation is unique. I had all the reasons on why I could not take on that advice. And in the final stage, I would also, in that third category, I have given up. I gave up because I didn't know if I was any point closer to my goals. I wasn't sure. I had no way of measuring if the plan was working for me or not. No way of determining how much of a grace period that I needed to have. I had, it was, some days it felt like I was close to target and some days it felt like I was way off. And all those three stages, the perfect plan really did not serve me. And I go on this quest, when I realize that something does not serve me, I go on a quest to figure out how can I create a plan that works for me. And this is what I have come to realize. We work the plan. When we say the plan didn't work for me, it meant that we did not work the plan. We did not work the plan. And the, the strategy of the perfect plan is not to have a result or an outcome. The strategy of a perfect plan was to be perfect. It wasn't to hit a goal. We get caught up and we get lost in what the definition or the purpose of a plan is because we think we need to have it perfect because that perfection gives us the certainty we think to get the results we want. We won't know that something is perfect until we get past that point of results. It's upon reflection when we look back and go, oh my God, that actually was a freaking amazing plan. We won't know until we've completed the steps in the plan. We get caught up in these beliefs on what needs to be right and what is wrong and, and we forget. What are we working towards? What's the purpose of having this plan in the first place? The plan is for us 
to keep going at our goals, to be able to shift when needed so that we keep on our goals, to be able to even say, perhaps this is not the goal that I'm looking for. Perhaps this other thing is a better goal. To have that behavioral flexibility on determining the best outcome for us in that moment. Now, as change makers, we may not always have the steps right in front of us. We won't always have it laid out. It's a possibility we may have one or two steps that we can see. Okay, let's do one and then let's do the next and then decide with the third step that will take us closer to our goal. And that's the behavioral flexibility that we need. Therefore, does the perfect plan work here? What do you think? As you're listening to this, I'm curious what's coming up for you. The certainty that you're craving right now, and I get it, in these extraordinary times, we need a lot more confidence and certainty with what we're trying to do. We feel at times like we can't make the wrong decisions. We can't get it wrong. And again, what is this belief? How is this belief of I can't get it wrong serving you? What would it mean for you to be able to say, it's okay, I might get a couple of things wrong, but I know that I can fix it. I know it's not a total loss. I know I will be able to recover. What would it mean for you to be able to have a plan that you can work and you know you're exactly on point when you work it? I'm going to leave you here with these thoughts. And let me know how this message is coming across, what's coming up for you, what curiosity is bringing, what, what is it creating within your understanding of what your plans are for yourself as leaders. All right, I'm going to leave you on that note. Have a beautiful day, everybody. Bye-bye now.